Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to look at the differences between using tick data, control points and open prices when optimizing an EA. And I'm going to give you some ideas of how you can combine those particular settings. So we'll start with the every tick method and I'm going to click on every tick so that will be fine. Now I am going to use a very short period as you can see here uh, it's uh, just under 10 days it's most probably has about six or seven days of trading between those days so it's a very short period because I just want to illustrate the point to you I'm using a spread of one and a time frame of 15 minutes so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a template that I've got for the Make Money Day Trader. There's the template. I'm going to run that template and let's see what results we get. And I, before I start uh, optimizing, I always run the results without optimization just to see that they are actually working. And we look down here and we see that the results in their current format are generating $498. Pretty good. Not bad at all as a first run. But now let's see if we can improve on that by optimizing them. So I click on optimize and I'll start. Now the strategy tester goes away and analyzes what the job ahead is going to be and it gives us an, a guideline at, as to where, how long it will take. And at the moment it's saying four hours of testing is required to generate these every tick results only on only six to seven days trading so it's really not that efficient now what i'm going to do is i'm not going to run for for the four hours i, I see it's re-evaluating it's down to three hours it's still a huge amount of time i'm not going to stick around for that long but i want to show you in principle what the problem is with tick data we're down to two hours 40 still a very long time so i'm going to actually stop the 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 process and i'm going to go on to see if we can find a more efficient way of testing these results so i then say okay well look the, the dictate is going to take too long what can i do control points or open prices so let's start with open prices and let's run a an optimization with open prices and hopefully it will be shorter than two and a half hours and we click on okay the strategy tester goes away and says oh no i'm going to take less than a minute to do this this is light work and it goes away and does the optimization in less than a minute and there we are, it's all done. And we go to the optimization results and we sort them from high to low. 3,180 really great result there. I mean, for six, uh, six days of trading, excellent result. Oh, and what we do then is we set it as input parameters. So in other words, the, the settings go into our input and we then run them to just double check that they're correct. And we say, oh, yeah, 3,180. Uh, 3, now, I am using the broker's data because it's such a short period. So we say, okay, all right, now let's convert that to tick data. So we run that same, uh, those same settings to, onto tick data just to see how reliable that 3,100 is. And we have a look and oh, oh, oh suddenly that 3,100 that we saw earlier has gone into minus. Now, that's no good because we can't rely on open prices converted to tick data to give really good results. Okay, so what's left? The next, uh, the next thing is, that's left is to check on control points. So let's go and do that. Okay, so the Aussie has just run on control points for just over a week and it, is, it took five minutes to run this particular test and it's done over 10,000 results. And let's have a look at the results. Oh, 1,800 over a five-day five period. Not bad. And what we now do, I'm going to just 
set that as an input parameter. Uh, I'm going to check the results by running it on its own. And yep, there are the results. Now, the big question, what is the difference between control points and tick data? And we hit the tick data button and we run those same settings on tick data. And there we are. So it's $1,700. So it's about $1,000 less, but nothing compared to the difference that we encountered when we used, when we used open prices. So now that you know the secret to find robust settings that have a sound tick data basis, you should be in a position to generate much more robust settings for yourself much quicker. From me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.